Uh, welcome to Math 141 for, for fall quarter. My name is Chuck Devanji, and uh, I am your instructor for this for this course this fall. Um, I appreciate you taking the class, and uh, this is a this is a fun class to take, I think. So uh, I, I I enjoy teaching 141. That's good. I've been an adjunct faculty member here at Wacom for over 20 years. Um, I also teach in the Bellingham School District, uh, currently at Bellingham High School, and uh, teach math, just all math, all day, all the time. So what I would like to do right now is do a little brief introduction to WAMAP in case you haven't used it before. We are using WAMAP um, as our course shell as opposed to, um, to Canvas. WAMAP is actually much more robust. It, it's, a, it's a much better uh, instructional shell to use than Canvas for math. So that's, that's why we use it here at Wacom. And uh, I think every math class uses, uses WAMAP here at Wacom. Um, so here is... Basically what it'll look like when you sign in, your name should be up here, that sort of thing. Uh, I'm going to go over a few ideas. So this is student view. As you can see, we have three weeks out, already established. Um, I always try and make sure that a week is released three weeks before anything's due for it, in case you want to um, work a little bit ahead. If you, you, know, you see something coming up on the horizon, you want to get something done early, you can get it done early. The only thing you can't get done early would be um, exams and the final. Those have a fixed day to do. So announcements. Uh, every time you log in, check announcements. See if there's something new. I will uh, keep you posted there about stuff. Uh, I imagine you've already looked at it. Day one getting, getting started. You've probably already looked at that because you're watching this video and this video is in that section. Um, so like I said, weeks come out like this. I'm going to show you instructor view just so you, you get a sense uh, that the course um, you know, I have the other weeks laid out so that they'll be coming out, like I said, three weeks ahead of time. I'm going to look at week two because it, it's kind of a more typical week than week one. So every week we'll have an expansion uh, like this. These are lectures. And so 3.2, there will be a video lecture, much like this, uh, but it'll actually, you know, we'll be doing math in it. An assignment that I'd like you to do out of the book some additional videos as well in case my explanation wasn't sufficient you just want another look at it or something like this so these are the sections during that week you should be doing and then there's quizzes and forms almost every week so we have practice quizzes and time quizzes um, and i'll talk more about these and the forum when we look at the syllabus so that's a typical week the peak at week three two lectures some quizzes, a practice quiz, no time quiz that week, and so on. So if I peek in resources, there's a couple things in here. Uh, the syllabus and the course calendar. Let's take a peek at the syllabus first. Pretty typical looking syllabus. <laughs> You've seen them before, I imagine. That is my email for Wacom. I don't check that email uh, as frequently as I check my WAMAP email. So you can use that, but don't expect a quick response from me. If you want a quick response from me, I'm going to go back to WAMAP now. Up here we have messages. And if you click on messages, you can tell it, um, I have some people who are already uh, enrolled in class. Uh, if you want to send a message, send a new message. You can say who you want to send it to, maybe send it you know, to me, what the subject is. And, uh, whoops. And what I... Uh, like about WAMAP is you can write math in it. So if I look right here, add new math, if I type like uh, x squared plus 5, the whole thing divided by y, notice it'll format it like that. Uh, Canvas doesn't do this. So that's this is one of the reasons why WAMAP is, uh, is our go-to for it. All right, so if you want to message me, message me here in WAMAP. This is open all day on my desk, and I will respond quickly um, to, to your messages. Weekend, maybe not as quick. Just depends on if I, I you know, don't have anything else to do, which sometimes is the case, I have to admit. Um, lots of stuff in here you can look at at your own pace. We do have a textbook that uh, you need to find uh, some version of somehow. A um, couple of important things. Exam schedule. These are fixed dates for the exam. Um, these are taken online. So for each of the tests in the final, uh, they're timed. And what I do, though, is like on October 14th, 
that exam one will open up at 8 a.m. It will be open until 10 p.m. So you have a two hour sitting to complete the test. And that's two consecutive hours. You can't pause the clock once you've started it. Um, but you can take it anywhere in that window from 8 a.m. till 10 p.m. on that day. And um, and it is done at 10 p.m. So if you if someone was to start their test at like 9 p.m., they'll only get an hour on it. Um, one thing I want to say about exams, I'll say it later as well, is please, please, please send me copies of your scratch work. Send me pictures of it just in the WAMAP. You can just insert pictures so that I can give you partial credit if, uh, if that is earned. Uh, green scale, blah, blah, blah. Important note, this is a very important note. Uh, this class ends at the final. The final is uh, final. <laughs> it's the end of the class. So all work has to be submitted by 11.59 p.m. the day before the final exam. Um, I will not accept any work after the after that. So the night before the final, final 11.59, that's your last chance to turn anything uh, late that you wanted to. You get late passes. Six late passes are granted uh, to you. Uh, late pass basically extends the date on a practice or a timed quiz. So if you happen to miss one, or if you want to go back and redo one, you can use a late pass. Um, late passes are not used on the forums or the, the tests, the exams, midterm, or the final. So you can use them on uh, time quizzes. Uh, sorry, and practice quizzes. And, you know, it's, we have them. Why not, you know, use them? It's fine. That's life. Percentage, however, things broken down. Um, the homework, it's not graded but it's good practice. That would be on the schedule where it says section 3.2, try these problems. Um, exams and the final, like I said, you have this window to get them done, but it has to be a, a consecutive two hours sitting. And I strongly recommend you submit your scratch work um, within, it has to be within half hour of completing. Um, because then if something's wrong in this automatic test, I can go back and look at your work and, and grant extra, uh, not extra, but uh, partial credit if earned. Okay, practice quizzes and forums. Together, the 15% of your grade. So practice quizzes are not timed. Uh, they can work on when, whenever they're available until their due date. Um, you get four attempts on every on each practice quiz question. Um, and they have to be completed again, 11.59 on their due date. And they were not available after that unless you use late pass. Also, for the forum, I will ask, uh, I'll have a prompt. Please address the prompt in the forum. If you don't address the prompt in the forum, um, I will ask you to, and, and you won't earn points for it until you do so. Um, and you have to do that by the date, by the due date. So make sure you're answering the question that's being asked. Also, make sure you respond to at least one other person's um, posts. Time quizzes. Time quizzes, two hours, one sitting. Um, you actually get three tries on each question uh, in time quizzes, three attempts per problem. And uh, time quizzes, practice quizzes are really good practice for the time quizzes. If you can do the practice quiz, you can do the time quiz. Time quizzes are 20% of the grade. A um, couple of notes, unless it says otherwise, round to three decimal places. It's just a good rule of thumb. Stick with that. And if you ever feel like on a on a quiz question or a test question, you've been shortchanged by the auto grader in particular, um, you can let me know. I always look at each one. So like once they're after the due date, I go over each one and make sure that people um, got credit for something that was just like, um, you know, it was entered in a strange way or something like that. And that is about it for the syllabus. Next thing I want to point out, the course calendar. Please look at the course calendar. <laughs> Print it out. It's printable. Um, it's formatted. Lovely. Um, so you can see this course calendar shows where everything is due. Um, so you can manage your time. It shows days the college is closed uh, and so on. So if I take a look at this, this is our first week. Um, there's one lecture that I want you to watch. 1.6, I want you to do the homework from 1.6. And then you have an intro forum due on Wednesday. Your response to it to one of the persons is due on Friday. We have a intro quiz due on Wednesday, that sort of thing. So anything that's italicized uh, is not that is not a test is uh, is due, and that's the due date for it. So practice quiz two is due, 
on, uh, on the 6th of October. Practice exam, that's a practice test for exam one. This is the date it will be released. Practice exam is not an assignment. It's just a chance for you to do some practice. It's not graded or anything like that. Exam one takes place on that October 14th. You can see that. So everything is is uh, is laid out. I don't. I can't think of a case where where this would change. It would have to be something really weird happen, like you know, uh, worldwide uh, <laughs> power loss or something that maybe society falls apart and we don't have to worry about math grades then, anyways. Um, so if this changes, I will let you know. But I I don't know why it would change. Print it take a look at it if you have something that's a serious conflict contact me early do not conflict do not contact me after the fact uh, if an emergency happens contact me when you can that's okay all right uh, that should be enough to get you started i would love it uh, if you send me questions when you have them uh, just message me in wamap and uh, i i'm really quick to respond to questions that people ask i um I also will, can set times to have Zoom meetings with people if there's something that you're like, uh, I'm just, I've been trying, I don't get this, let me know. We will get you through this course. My job is to make sure you know how to do what you need to do to pass this course and be ready for the next math class. Um, and I take it seriously. All right, send me any questions you have. I'm looking forward to working with all y'all.